Hello and welcome along to another episode of this Snooker 19 career, the other O'Sullivan with me, Daniel. It's episode 11 and today we're back as promised for the quarter-final of the Scottish Open as we show you some action from our clash against world number one, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Of course he's the player we were looking to emulate at the start of this career, so if we were able to get a victory against him and get our way through to the semi-final, it would be both our best performance in any tournament so far in our career and a landmark moment to beat the Rocket. So let's go and get straight back into the game. Obviously there hasn't been any action off camera bar the first few frames of this match as we were drawn against him after our win in the last episode. If you did miss that one as it was a bonus bank holiday one on Monday, do go back and check it out. But for now we're just going to get back into our quarter final tie and as you can see from the scoreboard here, we're on for the biggest of shocks. We lead 2-1 against Ronnie O'Sullivan. We've got two chances to win this match now. Although the one time we did let Ronnie at the table, he absolutely ran riot. So if we are going to win this match, we'll have to do it in one take. It's very unlikely that Ronnie will give us two chances. So if we can get to the table in either of these frames, hopefully we'll be able to do it in one go. Ronnie's got the break in the fourth frame. We still lead 2-1. And fingers crossed, he'll give us a chance to get a red. Although it looks like that's a pretty good break off. I think he's covered all of the reds, bar the ones on the inside of the table. He's covered all three loose reds on the other side. So it looks like we're just going to have to go up and down and play a little safety shot off the pack. Hopefully we'll be able to hit this well, as if we give Ronnie a chance, it's probably frame over. We're going to go for our trusty 40% power and see if we can get up behind the green and brown. Fingers crossed this will just go past the green. It has done pretty well, but I'm not sure if the brown covers that red hovering over the corner, so we might be in a bit of trouble in a moment. Ronnie will have a go at it if it's available. We know that for sure, but instead for he's gone for one of the ones in the middle of the table, and he's put it in quite comfortably. Straight down the middle of the pocket, and unfortunately Ronnie O'Sullivan starting his break. He's on for the black now and I'm sure he'll get on a red. He's a very good talented player in positional terms and it looks like he's got on the red at the bottom of the pack so I think that's going to be a long break for him. We'll just check he puts this red in. It looks pretty much straight and he's managed to get himself on pink to middle so we'll come back when we get another chance at the table. Okay we're back at the table after Ronnie O'Sullivan completes a quick fire break of 27. He just got out of position onto one of the reds but again he's played a very good safety shot. As you would probably expect from the world number one. He's left one loose red but we're not able to get to it. He's covered by the green and blue so we're going to have to play an extra careful safety shot to make sure we don't leave the same red on. I think we've under hit this grossly. We were aiming for about 40% and we've only managed 35 so we really need the blue to come to our rescue and unfortunately it hasn't quite done so. So Ronnie O'Sullivan's on for the red and it looks like the first of our two opportunities to win this match are going to be taken away. The red goes in from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's on the black again again and this time the reds are open beautifully so I think he's going to finish off this frame in one go. We'll come back on camera if we get another chance but I highly doubt it. I think the next action you'll see from this match is us breaking off in the fifth and deciding frame. I tell you what, maybe it's our lucky day today. Ronnie O'Sullivan's on 39 now, but he uncharacteristically missed a pretty simple red, and he's left us a half chance here. It's the only red that's available to pot, but given our form so far in this frame, it's important we just try and get the red in. Fingers crossed we'll be able to do that, and get ourselves onto a colour. So we're going to hit this pretty hard. We want to back screw back to the middle of the table. We've managed to avoid the middle pocket with a cue ball, and now we've got a good angle on yellow or green to try and get back down the table. Fingers crossed we'll be able to put that in and start to build a break that can compete for this frame. If we are going to win this match, it'd be lovely to do it the first time of asking, as the pressure in a five frame match, when you get to the deciding frame, it's always difficult, so we don't really want to leave it to the last minute. We're just going to see if we can get a good angle on one of these reds. If not, we're probably going to have to think about other options, although it does look like we can get on these bottom two here, so as long as we get on one of those, I won't be too disappointed. The most important thing is that we don't underhit it. We've 61% power, which should just take us past the pack, but if anything I think we've got a little bit overboard now and we might be a little bit low on both of these reds. It should still be potable, but it's going to force us to have a cone. It's going to be a little bit more difficult than it would have been otherwise. Let's see if we can put this into the bottom pocket. We should be able to get up for the blue okay, and fingers crossed that'll leave us nicely to come down for the reds and get to the other loose one at the very least. Let's take a bit of the power off, just make sure we get to halfway. We don't want to collide with any of the reds in the pack 
back. So 39% power should do the trick. We've under hit it by 1%, but that won't be a problem. We've just come past the blue, and we might even have an angle to go into the pack. I know it's a little bit early with one loose red, but you have to take your chances in this one, and it looks like our best opportunity to do so, so we may well take advantage of that. So let's get plenty of power on the ball. We're going to screw back into this black, and hopefully it'll just nudge all the reds nicely, and leave us on for at least one of the reds. We just want to hit it about half ball if possible. I don't want to overdo it and go full on, as otherwise we're going to end up in the middle of the table and need a lot of luck with the reds to try and get on one. So we're just trying to make this perfect. Let's see if we can get it with 77% power. We've overhit it in the end, and we're going to need a bit of luck here. And you know what? I think we've got it. We've got one of the reds onto the middle. It doesn't look like there's an easy cut for one to the corner, but that red's almost straight to the middle, so we can't complain about that outcome. It looks like they're all spread nicely now, so we should have a frame winning opportunity. It should be a chance to make a really good clearance and hopefully get the victory against the world number one. What an achievement that would be. Coming into this tournament, we'd never beaten a player in the world's top 10 and this could be our third scalp of the tournament after John Higgins and Kyron Wilson. Both of those have been seen on camera. They were brilliant performances, but this one would top it all if we could beat the world number one and a player we're desperately trying to emulate. This should be a nice easy pot on the blue. It won't move much with the cue ball and just leave us nicely on the red to the corner. Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of that one and then we'll just have the four or five at the bottom of the table. It looks a pretty good angle for the pot, so let's just make sure it's going in the heart of the pocket, and the rest of this we can deal with. We just want to screw back off the bottom cushion and try and get up for pink or black. If we can't get an angle on either of those, then blue would be fine as well, but I'm not sure the cube will all come that far, so it looks like it's going to be a difficult pot. We've really under hit that. It's not a good shot at all, but we should be on green or blue, so we have got a bit of a safety net if needed. We can get to the black, but we can't quite get to the pot in angle, and the pink's obviously covered by the bottom red. So we are going to have to come up for green or blue. I know the blue is possible from here, but it doesn't look like the easiest one in the world. So we're going to go for the green instead, just to make sure the break continues. With the lead only being 22 for Ronnie O'Sullivan, with loads left on the table, we really don't need to worry about which colour we're taking on, as the point value is pretty irrelevant at this point. We're going for 48% power, we've come off the top cushion nicely, and we're back down for the red to the left of the pink spot. That should be a brilliant and easy pot. We've got a nice angle again, so we can use a little cannon if need be. Even if it's just nudging the black into a potable position, or trying to free up the pink. Even if it's getting rid of the last red, so we've got a chance on a colour. But for us, we're just going to go for the black. We want to make sure we nudge it free, and hopefully get on a colour as well. And if that all works out, this should be a chance for us to win the match against Ronnie. 50% power, the red goes in. We do nudge the black free, but it's not a good positional shot. So it looks like we're stuck with blue or yellow for again. Let's go for the blue as that's in the middle of the table. It looks like it's not covered too much. It's a pretty difficult pot, but we should be able to get it. And hopefully we can screw back down the table. It's not going to be the easiest one in the world, but 50% power should do the trick. We've come off the cushion, but we've missed the blue. And that's the best opportunity of the match gone. I'm not sure if we've left the red on. Maybe Ronnie will take the one close to the cushion on the left. But as it stands, Ronnie O'Sullivan's back at the table. And he may well win this fourth frame. He's put the red in and he's got up for the blue. And unfortunately, we've wasted our golden opportunity. We'll be back at the table if we get another chance, but I think we've used up one life too many. Okay, we've been given yet another lifeline. We're not back for the deciding frame. Ronnie's now 32 points ahead, but there's still 43 on the table, and we've got a half chance to get a red in here, and we're just going to try and cut it into the corner pocket. If we can come back off the cushion up for pink or blue, that'll leave us a good chance to win the frame, although the other red's in a pretty difficult position, so it's going to be a tough one. We do pot the red but we've come miles too far if we're lucky we'll have the blue or pink to the corner pocket but as it stands it's going to be a difficult pot. The pink's on but it doesn't leave us an angle so we might have to go for the blue and actually it might leave us nicely on the red if we manage to get the power right. If we look at that it's pretty much dead straight so hopefully that'll be a good opportunity but getting on the red's going to be a little bit difficult particularly in this position at the moment so we're going to hit this with plenty of power see if we can come forward and get on the red it's not going to be a good angle 
possible by any means. But if we can have a half chance, that's all we can ask for. So 62% power. Let's go and smash it into the corner. The blue's in, and that's the most important thing. And we've got relatively close to the red. So hopefully we can just cut it in thinly. We're going to have to be very gentle and delicate here. Something we're not particularly good at. But fingers crossed if we do so, we will be able to pop this red. Even if it just drops into the pocket and we don't get the best angle on the colour. We're not going to complain too much at this point. We just want to try and get the red in the pocket. Here we go then. Let's try and get a good angle on it. Fingers crossed it will drop in nicely. And then if we're on the pink or black, that would be a bonus. But if not, if we can get to any colour, that's the most important thing. This is the most crucial shot of the frame. The colours bar the pink are all on their spot. And the pink's not too far away from it. So we should be able to win the frame if we pop this red. 20% power. Let's just drop it in. Fingers crossed it'll drop in the pocket. We've missed it. It's an absolute disaster. But fingers crossed the red is safe. It looks like it's not potable at all. So hopefully that means we're still in the action. Ronnie's played a safety shot and it's probably going to be a good one. I think we're going to be snookered on multiple colours. Although he looks to have overhit it slightly. So we should be able to get to it. We're going to have to play a safety too. But it looks like one that should be pretty easy to make. 40% power again. The trusty break. And let's see if we can get back up to ball. We've managed to hit the red and get it safe on the side cushion. But are we going to be able to cover the angle? It looks like we're going to drop in behind the yellow. Although again we've come a little too far. And there's a gap for Ronnie to hit this. We've just overhit it slightly. And it's absolutely straight for him. And he's put the red into the pocket. It's frame over and we're going to a decider. Join me again in a moment for that one. Okay, we're back for the decider as chance number one to win this match has gone. Normally, we've been quite good in winning positions, but the pressure of playing Ronnie O'Sullivan's really got to us today. It's a pretty good break-off shot, though. The Browns covered the two loose reds, and it looks like Ronnie's going to have to play a very good safety shot to keep us away from the table in this one. Let's see what he's got in the tank. He's just playing off the other side of the reds, and hopefully he won't be getting in behind the colours so well and leave us half a chance at a pot. He has hit it pretty well, but he's left us half a chance, and that's what we asked for so fingers crossed we can put this in the corner and get ourselves onto a colour we're gonna put the red in it's loose and it's easy to hit and we've just got to make sure we get back up the table and onto another colour from blue and upwards 59% power we just overhit it but we came back off the cushions lovely and we've got quite a nice little bounce off the middle pocket there to leave us on the green or yellow it's gonna be difficult to get onto another red from here but I'm sure we'll be able to go for the screw back the other alternative here with the green is that we put it into the corner like so and then play off the top cushion with loads of power and see if we can get back down for the loose red right at the bottom. So 61% power. Let's see what we can do with it. I'm not sure if the cue ball will come far enough, although it may look like it's come a bit too far here. Let's just see if we're left on the reds. It's not the best shot in the world, I'll give you that. But I think we might be able to get to the red below the black spot. It's certainly not what we were aiming for at the start. But we're not going to complain about being on a red. And we should be able to continue our break here. Providing that we put the red in the pocket. So 18% power. We certainly don't want to overhit it. We've nudged the black into the pack, which isn't ideal. But we've got a pretty much straight blue to try and continue our break. We would have been able to pot the black, but the red's in the way. So it looks like we're sticking with blue. And then hopefully we'll be able to free up the black next time it's almost straight so not the most difficult part it's just about getting back down for this red at the bottom to make sure that we can continue our break so 61 percent power we've just under hit it by half a percent although it looks like we're pretty much perfect on this red so we're going to be able to continue our break it's only 10 so far and it's been pretty difficult, but this one we should be able to get on the black from. And if we can do that successfully, this will be a brilliant opportunity for us to win the deciding frame against Ronnie. We're going to try a little bit of backspin, just because I want to make sure we don't come too far. If we can get ourselves a good angle on the black, this should be a frame winning opportunity. 32% power, the red's in which is the most important thing, and we've got a good angle on the black. So hopefully we can come off the bottom yeah. cushion and get ourselves into the pack. Let's make sure we're getting this black into the heart of the pocket. That's the most important thing at this point. And we're going to screw forward with loads of power just to try and get back into the pack. So 52% power. We've managed to collide with the reds. And I think we've got a couple onto the middle pocket. What a wonderful shot that's turned out to be. And from this point, if we don't win the frame, we're certainly going to be very guilty. It's a brilliant opportunity. You couldn't have asked for a better one against Ronnie. And we should be able to come up for the blue nicely here after just rolling the red into the middle. 
It looks like we've come slightly too far, but it's still a potable angle, and we've got the bulk colours such as yellow and brown if need be, so there's certainly no need to panic at this stage. It just shows that our positional shots are still slightly off, and the pressure of this game's really getting to us. I'm not sure how we're going to play this, as if we put too little power on it, the blue won't go in, and it's going to be very difficult to get on a red at the moment, as they're not situated particularly nicely. We may have to go for a little cannon again, and maybe just come off the pack of reds, so fingers crossed that'll go well. I certainly don't want to end up on nothing. We're going to collide into these reds. We're just going to need a bit of luck. And if this shot goes right, then it's going to be frame over. It looks like we've got a couple to the middle. So it's certainly not a disaster. Although we could have been left with an easier one. But the reds are all spread beautifully now. So there's absolutely no chance of us messing it up from here. If we do, we've only got ourselves to blame. There's certainly nothing more we could have done to get in a good position. We're going to try and screw back slightly to end up on the black. Or if we just go full ball into this red, it means will be left nicely on the black anyway. So 40% power, and fingers crossed we'll get the bit of luck we need. We're not on the black, the angle's terrible, but we've got the blue or yellow quite nicely, and we probably could still cut the black, although it's not a risk I want to take at this point. It's still a pretty dodgy angle, so we're going to go up for yellow instead, just make sure we continue our break, and try and win this frame in one visit. It's not about getting a century, it's not about hitting loads of brilliant flare shots, it's just about getting the job done, and achieving our best result of the series so far, as well as reaching our first semi-final. It's a good angle on the yellow, so we can have no complaints about that. It's just the amount of power we use onto the cushion to make sure we get back down the table. My aim is if we get past the blue spot, we'll do very well not to get on any reds, so we're going to play it at about 55%, and hopefully that'll leave us on something. We've come off the cushion quite nicely, and we're going to have a couple of reds to choose from. One to the middle, which is perfectly straight, and then one to the bottom corner, which is nice as well. Ideally, I'd like to leave this straight one here, just in case we come too high on a position shot later in the frame so we've got a red available to choose from it looks like this one's pretty straight as well and that's going down to the bottom corner and we should be able to screw up for the blue nicely so it looks like that's the one we're gonna choose if we can leave ourselves a straight blue we'll have plenty of opportunities from there and with 38% power the red's gone in and left us a lovely angle on the blue as well just a slight bit of angle to get down for one of the bottom reds and it looks like we're gonna win this frame in a single break something we haven't done too often on camera so I'll be delighted to do it on this occasion and if we can screw back and leave ourselves a couple of easy reds that would be a lovely way to finish the frame 33 percent power is slightly more than we were going for but we've got the red to the bottom corner as well as a couple to the other side and one to the middle if we needed it as well but we're just going to put in this straight red here hopefully we can screw back up for the black it should be a good angle for this one and with 50 percent power we hope to achieve it we've under hit it slightly and that may well have hamstrung us but i think we've just about got away with it we're very lucky on this occasion. We should be able to come back for the same red or leave ourselves one to the middle at the very least. So we're not going to try and do anything fancy at this point. We just want to leave ourselves on a red to the middle. It may be the one just below the blue spot but either way it's still a red and that's the most important thing at this stage. 41% power. The black's in off the corner pocket. We've left ourselves an angle on the reds. I don't think we can get to this one below the black spot. We can get to the one just above it though. So let's see if we can put this one in. It certainly would be a good way to continue our break without taking too much more of a risk. We're going to try and screw back up the table. We want to get ourselves onto the blue. Though there's a couple of reds in the way of that. So it may be a difficult positional shot. 40% power. The red's gone in. And we've come up for the blue nicely. The cannon off the red has left us perfect on the blue. A brilliant shot. And it looks like this is job done although I don't want to get too arrogant too early as we've shown before we could play a bad positional shot at any point let's try and take a bit of power off this one we want to make sure we get onto a red and if it means we have to come off the bottom cushion then so be it 38% power the blues in which is important and we've left ourselves a couple of good shots on it looks like we've got a lovely angle to the bottom corner we've come up pretty much straight for the top red and that's all we could have asked for really so if we can pot this one it should be job done as we'll be able to come up for the blue again the red's pretty much straight we couldn't have asked for much more and we can get to the blue from the other side and leave ourselves straight to the middle pocket another good shot and we're on for the half century once we pot this blue we can celebrate the 50 break 
We've got a good angle for the pot and we should be able to come down for these two reds. The one that's level with the black spot and the one that's just above that as well. We've given ourselves a window for error. So if we do come a little bit too powerful or a little too light, we'll give ourselves the opportunity to get the other one. We're pretty much straight on the top red. Though I'd like to clear the one below the black spot if I can. As it gives us an opportunity to pot the black to either side. So we're going to go for that one first. And fingers crossed we can then get on a colour. Let's just try and bounce off the cushion nicely. If we come up for the blue then so be it. On this occasion we just wanted to pot the red and we've come miles too far for the blue. We're going to have one of the bolt colours to middle. It looks like it's going to be the yellow if anything. 54. Although having said that, we're pretty much straight on the blue to the bottom. So that would be the nice shot as it would guide the cue ball down the table automatically. So let's try and do that one for now. 22% power is too little. We're going to go for 26% and just try and get on this red below the pink spot. Let's lose halfway between the pink and black. Let's go for 26% power. We've hit it pretty much perfectly. The blue goes in without touching the sides and we're onto the red with a brilliant angle. Let's try and put the red in and speed up this break. We're in a frame winning position now we want to show how fluent we can be so let's just come up for the blue nicely and make sure we've got another good angle 37% power we've overhit it slightly but the red goes in and although we've come a little too far for the blue again we've got the bolt colours if need be it's the one thing we've really got to improve we do come too high for the blue quite a lot when we're amongst the pink and black it's fine but on these occasions we do get caught out the blue does look potable still so we're going for 60% power and we're going to try and free up the red below the pink spot just to give ourselves an easy opportunity. I thought we were going to pot the cue ball there but we just about got away with it and we've got a red to the corner pocket as well as a difficult one to the bottom. It looks like this red is going to be potable but I don't know if I want to take that risk so it would be easier to go for a red to the top or even one of them to the middle which also looks like a relatively straightforward pot. We're going to go for red to middle as I don't want to take too many risk and even then if we miss the pot we'll be up towards the bolt cushion and have an opportunity to get behind the yellow or pot it if we do get the red in 25% power we have missed the red and I told you we come out of position at least once but we have managed to get the cue ball safe at the top cushion so hopefully Ronnie won't be able to pot a red with 65 ahead with 59 remaining so in theory it's frame one but Ronnie O'Sullivan you never know with him he can often produce a moment of magic he's potted the first red and he's on to the black now surely he's got to pot the black to stay in the frame what's he doing he's already six behind it seems like a really poor decision he's played a safety off the yellow and we're just going to try and pot one of these reds to make sure it's job done and frame over so due to that bizarre positional shot from Ronnie, we're now 64 ahead and there's only 51 remaining. So my theory is if we can pot this red, he certainly won't come back to the table. So we're just going to try and thinly cut this in. As long as we miss the corner pocket, that's all that's important. And hopefully we'll be able to do that and at the very least get back up to the bolt cushion. 65% power. If it doesn't go in, then so be it. It hasn't, but it hasn't left anything on. And hopefully we'll be able to come up high enough that this red won't be potable to the corner. Ronnie he's got a chance at the pot there's a couple that are half chances but I don't know if he'll come back to the table he hasn't what a bizarre finish to the frame with Ronnie opting not to pot the black and play a silly positional shot instead we win against the world number one three two we really should be celebrating that fact a brilliant break of 65 in the last frame which was the highest break of the match and we beat Ronnie in the decider the player we're looking to emulate and the world number one has crashed out of the Scottish Open as we put in the best performance of our career let's go and quickly see who we've got in the semi-finals obviously we'll have to show a frame from that in the next episode maybe if it's an easier opponent we could show a frame from the semi and the final as we look to win our first tournament of the series well, it certainly doesn't get any easier, does it? We've got Mark Selby, the world number two in the semi-final. So we'll definitely feature the latter stages of that match in the next episode next Friday. But what this semi-final placement does mean, as well as our best ever finish in a tournament, is that we've guaranteed another £20,000 in prize money. And if we go and have a look at the ranking chart quickly, £20,000 from where we are at the moment could take us into the 60s. 68th place, and if we win this one, then we'll be going up another position more importantly get into our first ever final so i hope you'll come and join me again next week for the semi-final as we play mark selby the world number two we've already beaten three top 10 opponents can 
we make it four and a memorable run to the final. But if you did enjoy this episode, please put a thumbs up on the video. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments whether you think we can shock Mark Selby. I'm so surprised we got past Ronnie to the semi-final, although it did seem a bizarre shot selection at the end for Ronnie not to pot the black and then play a safety off the red. Subscribe to the channel for daily FM19 content from two long-term stories, as my channel name gives away, as well as weekly content from this Nuka 19 career. We'll be back next Friday with the semi-final against Mark Selby. And there's also plenty of content on the channel this week from Cricket19. I've been a massive fan of the previous editions of the game, and the new edition for this summer's Ashes was released earlier this week, so you should see plenty of content on the channel over this week and next. If you are a fan of other sports games, please do go and check it out, and I hope you enjoy the content that we've got over the channel this summer. But a massive thanks for watching and your continued support with this series as always and I hope you'll join me next time for another big episode as we face world number two Mark Selby in a semi-final of the Scottish Open. <laughs>